Yo, they had a video of Baked Alaska with a uh, who was that federal informant? Um, I don't know. Look like that nigga was going to that high school <laughs> in Chicago with Ayanna Presley or some shit. Hold on, that's the video you talk about, Ray. Uh, Ray Epps. Ray Epps. Yeah. Your video surfaced of, of Baked Alaska and Ray Epps. Ray Epps giving Baked Alaska some pointers. <laughs> But, but did you see the other one? No. With him in bed with Milo? <laughs> no, I didn't see this. Oh, Lord have mercy. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. Let's let's go back. What'd you say what happened? He was with Ray Epps, the yeah. uh the other alleged federal informant. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. So two informants was hanging out together. Two months, yeah, two months before Jan 6. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's your boy. You had him. You invited him on the show. Huh? You invited him on the show. Hold on. Where's the mute button? Let me mute this. <laughs> Chat, he needs to be, Hotel Jesus was inviting federal rats on Hotel Jesus. <laughs> 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 Nick gave him the whole show. We, we we did the whole show with him, didn't we? <laughs> uh, did we? I don't think that's true. Try, go try to find that shit now. See if that shit did. <laughs> it's on audio somewhere. Oh damn! <laughs> I gotta change my cell phone out. That nigga called me one time. <laughs> did he? Yeah, matter of fact, I'm about to call his ass right now. I'm about to call Baked Alaska and ask that motherfucker what the fuck is going on. Where he at? Right here. Let me see if he pick up the phone. Let's see if we can get Baked Alaska. I'm going to ask him right now. Oh, it went right to voicemail. God damn. He ain't taking phone calls. Let me, I'm going to text him. Damn, this I'm trying to get the exclusive. We about to make this episode go viral. This guy on Do Not Disturb. <laughs> 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 Don't do not stir him rat. <laughs> <laughs> he gotta call you back to make sure the recorder's on. <laughs> he got he got get in a certain spot to have the tape recorder on his shit. <laughs> oh Lord. Gotta talk to his hand like, hey Ray, we got hold up Jesus text me. Should I text him back? <laughs> yeah, hey, give me a second. Let me set I the said, machine. No, up. I don't think he's in jail. He out on bail, man. Yeah, he out. He out. I don't think he's in jail. Hello. Yo. Hey, what's going on? Bake, what up, man? Am I live? You alive, bro. We alive right hey. now. The people can hear you. Say what's up to the Hoteps. Hey, Hoteps been told ya. What's up, guys? <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen, I got two questions. Sure. Two simple questions. Number one, is this phone call being tapped? <laughs> No, I am not a Fed. I'm not a federal agent. This, uh, this, I did. I did get my Twitter back though, which is pretty cool. The streets is saying you, Donnie Brasco, bro. <laughs> uh, the streets is capping. That's what I gotta say. I mean, there's no proof. Um, I mean, there's a lot I can say on this, but I mean, the first thing is I expose the feds. I expose Ray X. The, the, the biggest viral clip of the year on Tucker Carlson and everywhere, it's a clip of me saying, Fed, 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 right to Ray Epps' face. So let me ask you this. If I was a Fed, why am I spending my time exposing Feds? You know, so it, 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 all the people saying that are people that don't like me, like Jim Hoff, who owns the Gateway Pundit. He's a uh, Jewish homosexual man. Oh, my as, Lord. Yeah, as, as a Christian, you know, I, I've said a few things that he didn't really like. So, you know, my point is it, it's more of a personal grievance. People just say, oh, he's a fed because, you know. You ever, snap, seen, but... you ever seen the movie In Too Deep? No. <laughs> <laughs> I should check it out. I mean, it, you know, the, 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 the counter argument would say that a Fed would be, you know, to protect his cover, he'd point out another Fed because we saw the video 
you know, a few months prior to J6, you was hanging out with Ray Epps. Okay, well, once again, you're capping here. And that, <laughs> that's kind of sad because, you know, we, we've been friends for many years that you wouldn't even ask me or give me the benefit of the doubt. And would just, you know. I seen, me. all I saw was a video. All I that's saw was. Um, I was not hanging out with Ray Epps. That's just some boomer walking by. Yeah. In, in like hours and hours of footage, dude. I walked by thousands of people, thousands, and some some boomer walks by and says something. I'm like, yo, you know, I didn't know. So you know, we were both living in Phoenix, Arizona. So I mean, I, I mean, that, that's pretty disingenuous to just say, oh, you were hanging out with Ray Epps. And, he was seen at a Stop the Steal rally where everybody else that was going to January 6th was because that was another Stop the Steal rally. So I uh, definitely was not <laughs> hanging out with him. Uh, <laughs> you, could, you could actually see I was hanging up around with other Broivers and the America First people, and that dude just walked by. I didn't recognize him. But mm. I, did, I did call him out as a Fed on January 5th because he kept saying, we need to go in to the Capitol. And he said it so specifically – and he kept saying it and saying, it. I'm like, what the fuck is this guy saying? And I didn't know anything about the Capitol. I just thought we were uh, going to see Trump speak. So, I mean. Now, um, you're right. You're right. I did see that clip of you calling him yeah. out. You did. There yeah. is a clip floating of you calling him out. I did yeah. see that clip. You're absolutely right. You're absolutely right. I do remember you saying that. Yes. yes. And, 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 and that's the biggest story of the year because that story literally like revolver news wouldn't exist without me i just talked to darren Beatty, and he's like oh my gosh this clip is iconic it's been seen billions of times he was every night was on tucker you probably remember that and it was played in congress and so they're using ray epps as the kingpin for why january 6th wasn't in insurrection so yeah it, it, it's pretty far-fetched to say that that's not helping you know the patriots and all like that doesn't make sense. Oh, it's some deep cover so Banks can, you know, pretend he's not a fed or something. Like, bro, it, it's, it's, it's funny to me because I see all these conspiracy theories. I, I literally, I see everything, bro. I see people were saying that I staged the paparazzi photos for Ye and Nick Fuentes and that I'm like, bro, I've seen so many crazy things that people say I do, but I can tell you this. I swear to God, I am not a fed. I well, 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 be well, there. well. Let me I ask you. Let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. What what inside information do you have in regards to the Yay campaign and what's going on in there? Any 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 updates you have as far as that's concerned? I'm sure you're probably going to be hanging out yeah. with Yay soon. Yeah, I, I would hope so. Um, that would be great. And uh, you know, I love Yay, and I think you know, I also love Trump. You know, I love everybody, of course, but I've been a big Trump guy, but it's like Trump's really not, you know, bringing the energy. Like he said, oh, there's going to be this big announcement today. And then he drops, you know, buy my NFTs <laughs> for ninety nine dollars. Like, bro, we're, we're, we're hurting out here. What do you mean? Mm. So, um, you know, I, I'm always going to love Trump. Like he, he's the man. He, you know, started this whole truth revolution. And all that, but I mean, as it stands today, I'm back in Yay 24 just because he's the only one who's actually willing to put God first and the Bible first. And are you are you in contact? Yeah. Are you in contact with Nick Fuentes? Oh yeah, yeah. Nick's one of my best friends, so you know it's uh, it's not an official campaign yet, um, you know. But uh, why 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 do you, why do you drop Milo? So. They dropped Milo. I guess there was some internal conflict of uh, Milo sort of like grifting and trying to just make it all about himself. And like, yeah, I, I, I don't, I don't want to get too into that because I don't know all the details. But I guess there was like an internal conflict with Milo and Nick and some of the other people. But mm. um, well, let me tell you this. Let me tell you this. So, do I think? Yay could win. Yes, it's obviously a slim chance, but you know, a lot of the things people are saying about Yay now, they were saying about Trump. Because they said, Oh, you know, you don't have enough 
percent of the votes and you can't you know because trump used to be polling at one percent back in 2015 and um you know so it is a slim chance that he could win but a lot of people are resonating with his message and if he if he can pull away a couple percent of the trump voters that's leverage over trump if trump knows he can't win without appeasing the people that are supporting yay maybe he has to offer yay you know a cabinet position to get the yay people over there so um it, it, it is a really good strategy also what i really want to see the best thing i want to see is i need yay in the debate because you really don't need a lot to get into the debate i think you need like one or two percent on the polls and like some money donations. Yeah. yeah like fifty thousand individual donations i think Ye can make a big splash you know just going up on that say imagine him and trump and desantis and, and you know Ye's talking about and, you know whatever i think we need that i think things are too boring i think you know like all right last question know, yeah go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> are you clear of all charges what does that mean i mean you had a case right are you are you good? Are you free? Is Baked Alaska free, or does he still have to go in front of court? Am I, am I a free man? Okay, so let, I'll tell you this. I have to. I was sentenced to thirty days for macing a bouncer in Arizona. Um, I am currently appealing that case, so I may have to serve that thirty days. Or if if I win the appeal, I won't have to. So there's that. Plus, on January tenth, I get sentenced. For January 6th, um, and it looks like for that I will serve, it could just be probation or it could be up to 75 days. Um, and what so they I hit you, like, what charge they hit you with? I got uh, like a, a misdemeanor of trespassing in the Capitol. Trespassing, that's what they hit you with? Yeah. Wow. Yep. Yep. Wow, that's whack. Well, it, it, it was trespassing and disorderly conduct, which is crazy because... There's some other, I was doing my job live streaming, you know, I didn't attack anybody, I didn't break But you were windows. inside the Capitol building. Yeah, I was inside, yeah. Was oh, inside. so that's what they got you for. Yeah, the, yeah, trespassing, mm. disorder. But you was just chilling but live streaming, just cracking I, I jokes. Was live streaming. Yeah. Exactly. Bro, well, look at this. Let me tell you this, and thank you for having me on. I, I would love to come on again on video or something, but um, for all the people that, you know, say I'm a fed, there's other people inside the Capitol, like Elijah Schaefer, that were never arrested. I was arrested. I was put in solitary confinement for a week in Houston, Texas. I had an ankle monitor around my leg for three months. Like, I was on house arrest for almost six months. I've been in pretrial probation for two years, bro. And I'm about to go serve more time for this. So, like, I don't want to fucking hear this shit about me being a fed. Why don't we talk about the people like Ray Epps or the people inside, like Elijah Schaefer, that were never arrested? He was tweeting out a picture of Nancy Pelosi laptop. And I, I'm not even saying that he's a Fed, but I'm just saying there's a lot of, you know, they're, 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 this is like the biggest investigation of all time. There's a lot of weird shit going on, but... Mm. Um, yeah, man, I'm just... Well, I'm glad, I'm glad. I'm glad. We just wanted to bring some clarity Cause I took a lot of hell. They said, "Hotep Jesus, you done brought a Fed in the Hotep Nation. Your homie, your Fed." So I was like, "Hold up, let me call him, and then y'all can hear it from the horse's mouth." You know what yeah. I'm saying? And then now I'm vindicated, fuck the huh? Bro, fuck the feds. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Yeah, fuck the feds. I, I would never. Do Look, like we're that. gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna get you on the program again soon, y'all. Yo. Yeah, let's do it. All right, God bless guys. All right, bless Talk you. Thank you, soon. man. There you go, man. He's vindicated, man. You're not a fed. They got him. They got him sitting down doing time. If you do 75 days for trespassing, you can't be a fed, yo. That's a lot of time for trespassing. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Chat, y'all gotta behave, man. Oh, LP man. says, is this gun over big the last Free free gunner. <laughs> oh Lord have mercy. <laughs> <laughs>